obviously. Um, you know, we've come back from South Africa um, a few weeks ago, and um, you know, reflecting on that tour, I think it was a very good tour for us. I'm um, disappointed in the way we we finished the tour, but um, overall, I think it was a you know an important kind of stepping stone um, to what we want to achieve in the future. And uh, uh, we played against a very good side there. Um, obviously, won the one days out there, uh, draw the drawn the test matches and. We played some good cricket, so we, we want to continue with that. We want to keep winning um, as much as possible, and obviously Bangladesh uh, hopefully gives us that opportunity to do that. Listen, I think the referral system works on the, the, the on the real shockers, on the real bad decisions. I think um, if we're all honest, we, if you're going to use the referral system, you've got to you've got to have the um, the full technology there. Um, what I'm talking about is the, the hotspot technology and the SNCO um, because obviously you're just going back to um, human error again if you go to the third umpire and they haven't got the technology so um, it's really defeating the object of, of, of taking the, um, you know, the decision back to uh, uh, the third umpire so um, if they've got the technology there we've certainly got to use it but as long as we've got the whole um, spectrum of of appliances, if you know what I mean. The way that uh, the schedules are these days, um, you know, is pretty much asking a football manager, because um, that's the equivalent to, to being a captain, a football manager, to, uh, to to manage a football team for 12 months uh, off the trot without a break and, and, and do it year in year out. So, you know, it, it is very stressful, and, and, and obviously Andrew's made the decision to. Um, have the break there. I think with the cricket that we've got coming up um, later on in the year, and we've got some very important series coming up, and um, hopefully that's when we get the best cricket out of not just himself but out of the team um, come them times. You've got no option but to have curry out in uh, Bangladesh, I tell you. It's, uh, it's certainly an interesting place to, to tour. It is a very difficult place to tour. Um, you obviously haven't got the, the full luxury that you have in, in other countries, but um, it's also very exciting. It's, it's one of them tours that tends to bring the team closer and closer together because of the, I guess, the conditions out there. And um, so, you know, I'm sure all the boys are looking forward to some real hard work over the next um, uh, five weeks or so. And um, what we want, as I said, is we want to get the, the positive results out there and, and get a win under our belts. Yeah, the, the football has obviously been knocked on the head for obvious reasons, but uh, yeah, there, there'll be all sorts of games going on. As I said, you, you're pretty much confined to your, the hotel in, in Bangladesh. Uh, there's, n you know, there's not a lot to do outside of the hotel, so. It'll not just be darts, I think it'll be every, everybody will have the room door open and the corridor will be full of guys walking up and down it to see what uh, kind of competitions they can get into, whether it be putting competitions down the corridor, whether it be PlayStation competitions for the younger lads, or, or uh, it could be anything. From my point of view, if you've uh, seen the team a few year, years ago and to the team that we've got now, uh, you know, there's a huge difference. There's a huge and we've got a lot of class and, and quality in the side now. I, I don't think the confidence is running too high at the moment, that's probably why they're not getting the results, but I'm sure it'll get one win under the belt and uh, turn it around. All right, so why are you win? <laughs> well, they actually look really nice on you, I think. Um, maybe a little bit, uh, you know, on the other side, but yeah, hey, each to their own.